<laughs> I'm okay. It's not showing on there. It's not showing on there? Well, you better uh, grab a hold of Scott. <laughs> All righty, so we're on. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you, and happy Father's Day. Amen? Yes. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, y feliz día los padres. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So, also, welcome all family, all visitors, and all joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Yeah. Just like when Patricia calls me and says supper is ready, <laughs> I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready to partake of whatever is ready is there for me to eat. So, you know what? When you're with God, be ready to receive whatever he has for you. Big or small, it doesn't matter. He told it, uh, Peter, you know, he said, he saw Jesus walking on water. Mm -hmm. And he says, I want to come where you are. I want to play. <laughs> he said, all he said was come. Mm -hmm. Whatever he gives you, whatever word he gives you, yes. you have to act on it. Amen. Yeah. If he tells you to do, then do. Amen. But you have to partake and you have to get involved and do yes. something about it. Amen. Just like he's given us authority. He's given us words. And there's authority in words, either positive or negative. Yes. But you have to speak it out with yes. your word, with your mouth. Mm -hmm. There's power. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Dumb. And the power of the words that you speak. Yes. So it's very important that we need to know how to guard, how to protect mm -hmm. the words we speak. Yes. Amen. Because it's positive or negative, death or life. And you're releasing it. Amen. Yeah, this is your work gun. And you're releasing either good or bad uh, 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 bullets. You're so right. be careful the words you speak. And he also tells us, you know, watch the words you speak. Watch your, watch, watch your actions. Yeah. Watch your words. Amen. Because yeah. people are watching. Not only that, but God is watching. That's yeah. the main reason yeah. we need to control ourselves. Yeah. Because God's watching. God's listening. Yes, yes. And so is the world. You know, they hear you say things and do things and, and come in and say, uh, I thought you was a Christian. Yeah. He never spoke to you before until you said mm -hmm. something. It says, boy, said the wrong thing. So anyway, prepare yourself to receive what God has for you. Amen. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, he's Heavenly Father. So once in a while, Father wants to discipline us. Amen. Yeah. And he wants to say, hey, you're going the wrong way. It's time to get back in the way, yes. in the right way. Yeah. Amen. So let's remember this. And uh, I guess this message is Happy Father's Day 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Amen. And uh, just wanted to, well, before I get too far ahead, grab your swords, grab your Bibles. I hope you brought a Bible. If not, we got some in the back. Amen. Grab your one. But we need the Word of God. You know what we use? We use the Word of God yes. to teach here at New Beginnings Church. And wherever you are, you should have a Bible. Amen. Because the Bible says the truth will set you free. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So let's be, let's make this declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You can start that every day. Every time you go to read, you know, say, man, I'm going to learn something new today. Amen. As a matter of fact, he tells us to study to show yourself approved. Yeah. You know why? Because the world is going to prove, try to prove you wrong. The enemy is going to try to prove you wrong. And you know what? Instead of believing the lies the world gives you, why not believe the truth the word gives you? Amen. Right. And confess what the word says, not what the people say. Amen. So and so said, well, who so and so? Well, if, you know, whatever. No. Confess what the word of God says. You know, they said it, but they didn't say it the way the word of God says it. Right. So I'm not going to believe it. I'm not going to confess it unless it's what the word of God says. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. All right. I'm excited. You see a little pastor? <laughs> Uh, let me read you this. Um, brother prayed a few minutes ago and he prayed just about what I was going to say. <laughs> so, heaven, um, happy Heavenly Father, or happy Father's Day to our Heavenly Father for giving us life, 
for giving us a new day, yes. for giving us new beginnings, All right. for health, for healing, for strength today and every day. Yes. Amen. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. I will, you you declare, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Because the world is going to bring all kinds of mess. There's going to be all kinds of distractions. Yes. But as you spend time with Him, know who, who you are and whose you are. Yes. Amen. So before I go meet my giants, I am going to be battle ready. Amen. They used to teach us that in the military. You know, be battle ready. Stay ready. Stay ready. No man, don't 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 just once in a while. Don't be part time. Say part time Christians is no match to a full time devil. That's right. Amen. Part time sure. Christians no match for a full time a full time world. Mm. Amen. You got to be ready, yes. and you got to know. It's not time to say, well, I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? God knows. The Word of God yes. knows. Yes. And you got to get it in you. Once you get it in you, use that authority. Mm -hmm. And release <laughs> those words of authority the Word of yes. God tells us to. Amen? But it says that uh, um, we are to uh, confess His Word. Yes. Amen? So you are somebody. And He says rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, yes. Regardless of what the world brings or what is happening outside, weather wise, news wise, or whatever wise, I am going to rejoice and be glad in it because I spend time with Father. Yes. And Father says, Go and take. Amen. That's what He told His disciples. He said, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to leave you here, but I want you to go into the world. Yes. And this is what I want you to do. Lord. Amen. And we're to preach His word. Lay hands on the sick. Cast out devils. There's lots of devils out there need to be cast out. Amen. Yes. You know what the problem is? It's the enemy. Yeah. Amen. The enemy. He, what, what's the enemy do? He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. So if we get into his word, we're going to live this life more abundantly. Yes. Not the way the world says, not the way they say, right. but the way the world, right. the, the word of God says, amen, yes. when we do it his way, mm -hmm. it's going to be the right way, yeah. amen, and uh, maybe next week, in the next few days, or next few Sundays, we're going to be talking about Jesus, the only way to the Father, mm -hmm. there's no, he says, I am the way, the, way the truth and the life, nobody goes to the Father except through me, right. yeah. so if you're going to get on the right highway, you better get on Jesus way, yeah. amen, yeah. because any other way, you're going the wrong way. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to be going the right way, you know. And sometimes you'll see this highway over here is full of people and going the wrong way. Yeah. And you might be the only one going on the right way. You better be on the right way. Amen. Yeah. Somebody needed to hear that, so you got it. <laughs> so happy Father's Day. God loves you. It says, thank you, Father, for giving us our fathers. Yes. Every one of you is here because of a father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may be alive, may not, may not be alive. Mine's in heaven already. Yeah. Amen. So anyway, to our fathers viewing, listening, living, or in heaven, happy Father's Day. We love you. We thank you. We honor you. And yes. some we miss. <laughs> Amen. Because they're, they're gone. But that's okay. You know what? Have great memories. Have great teachings. Amen. Bless you. Amen. So, well, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. John 3.16 says, for God, for God. Yes. Or we could say, for Father God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. You know, I've told you this before, but the Father called the Son one day up in heaven and says, you know, I miss my people. I want my people back. So I'm going to have to send you and sacrifice you so I can get my people back. Mm -hmm. John 3, 16. Yes. <laughs> and Jesus says, agree. Okay. <laughs> I want to leave perfect heaven to go into a dirty, nasty world, mm -hmm. sinful world. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he agreed to be sacrificed. So do you think, do you think you know things Jesus knew when he came that he was going to be sacrificed. Yeah. But he came anyway. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's remember. Mm -hmm. Let's remember to stay focused. Yes. Why 
are we here? What am I doing? Lord, I'm doing this unto you. The Bible says if we do it unto him, we're doing yes. it to other people. Right. But we're doing it under if you're doing it under him, mm -hmm. you're gonna do it a lot easier than if you was doing it for somebody that yes. did you wrong. That's right. Amen. I don't want to forgive them. I don't want to do that. Mm. But God. Yes. Amen. Just think about Jesus' place at the cross when he was crucified. Yeah. And before they beat him, they did everything to him. They humiliated him. Mm -hmm. But before he left, before he surrendered back himself back to the Father, he told the Father, forgive them. Yes. He said, forgive them. Yes. <laughs> you haven't been through what he went through. That's right. And yes. if Jesus can ask the Father to forgive us, mm -hmm. <laughs> who are we to hold it against him, you know, mm -hmm. or against anyone? Right, amen. You know why? They don't know any better. That's you right. know better. Yeah. And you know the word of God, what the word of God mm -hmm. says. So you confess. Don't make two wrongs. You make it right. That's it. Amen. And sometimes amen. we have to do what Jesus did. That's Lord, right. forgive them, Lord. They don't know any better. Even though I want to kill them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even though I want to hurt them. Yeah. Even though I want to say something. Yeah. Forgive them. Yeah. Amen. So we can have love and have compassion. <laughs> love, accept, and forgive. Just like the Father. Just like Jesus did. That's what he did. Yes, amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Somebody amen. needed that. <laughs> Maybe me. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, a few scriptures I want to give you. Psalms 103, uh, 103 uh, verse uh, 13. In the Good News Translation, as a father is kind and compassionate to his children, so is the Lord kind and compassionate to those that honor and fear him. This fear here is a good fear. <laughs> Amen. It's not a bad fear. He says, I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power loving of a sound mind. That's a different fear. This fear here is a discipline, a uh, 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 respectful. Yes. Amen. Because this Father God, He made you, but He can also take you. Psalms <laughs> 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 yeah, 103 in the NIV says, As the Father has compassion on His children, so the Lord has compassion on those that fear Him, yes, yes. honor Him, yeah. respect Him. Yes. Amen? Yes. Come on now. Yes. And the Amplified says it like this. Just as the Father loves His children, mm -hmm. so the Lord loves those who fear and worship Him yes. with awe, with respect, with yes. deepest reverence. That's a good word. Yes. Amen? So let's remember that. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us and for sending Jesus. Amen. And thank you, Jesus, for coming. Thank you for agreeing to come and be sacrificed. Amen. I mean, this should be on a, on a daily basis. Is just get before him and say, thank you, if nothing yeah. else, you know. I don't know what else to say except thank you, Lord. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Amen. Woo. You didn't have to, <laughs> but he did. And, you know, sometimes we put ourselves in Jesus' place and we say, you know what? I would have never came. Right. <laughs> yeah, I would have never came. Why would I want to leave heaven to come for all these sinful people? Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the Father says, explain to the Son, he says, I want my people back. The enemy can't have them. You know? So now, guess what? We have salvation. Yeah. Salvation is a free gift. If somebody gives you a free gift, I want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But some people will never receive Jesus as Lord and Savior That's because right. it's on you. It's up to you. You have yeah. a free will to receive Him or reject Him. Right. And yeah. even to the end, some people will reject Him. Amen. That's what the Word of God says. And of course, uh, as His children, not just children that we have here in a in, in, in congregation, but in us as children. Yeah. Exodus 20 and 12 says this in the NIV. Excuse, no, excuse me. It's a new, new uh, King James. It's a fifth commandment. He gave us a commandment, you know. And uh, I want to say this. <laughs> a commandment is not a suggestion. <laughs> Amen. A command, being military for all them years, when they give you a command, you say, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. And you <laughs> get it done. Amen. Nowadays, it's like, uh, well, that's nothing, you know. No respect. No reverence. But he gave us a commandment, Exodus 20 and 12. You can mark that down. It says, 
honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon your land yes. which the Lord your God has given you. And Deuteronomy 5.15 says, uh, excuse me, 5.16 in the uh, New King James also says, honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you Amen. that your days may be long yes. and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Yes. So he's telling us it's not a suggestion. Well, you don't know my parents. <laughs> he does. He knows them better than you do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he, maybe he knew them before you. Or he knew them. Um, well, he knew them before you, period. Yes. Amen. And he knows yes. them better than you. Yes. So praise God. <clears throat> Mark these down. Ephesians uh, 6, verses 1 through 3. In the easy to read version. I like these. Yeah. <laughs> it says children. That's us. Us yeah. grown's too. <laughs> Obey your parents the way the Lord wants you. Or the wet wants. Because this is the right way. Right thing to do. And verse 2 says. The fifth commandment says. You must honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment. That has a promise with it. And verse 3 says. And this is the promise. That all will go well with you. And you will have a long life on earth. Mm -hmm. Now this is our choice. We have a choice. But he tells us what to do. He says honor your father and your mother. Well you don't know them. And you don't know what they do. And you don't know. We try to explain to them. But <laughs> that's now he says honor them. Yes. Because I commanded you. Yes. And you do it. Amen. So we celebrate Father's Day uh, once a year. God has given each one of us a father. <laughs> None of our fathers are perfect. Anybody can want to say amen? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. for sure. Even the best of fathers have a few flaws, uh -huh. a few imperfections, a few mistakes, mm -hmm. a few weaknesses, a few fallings, or maybe a few shortcomings. None are perfect. Amen. Father's Day, we focus on all the good and not the bad. Good teachings, good times, good memories. Fifth Commandment, uh, Proverbs 22 and 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Yes. When he's old, he won't depart from it. Mm -hmm. So still, even nowadays, you know, when they're trying to do away with everything. Yeah. No Bible reading in school, oh. no Bible reading here, no Bible reading there. We don't accept these holidays anymore. We don't say God anymore. Mm. Take God away from in God, in, in, you know, in God we trust. Mm. All these things happen still as parents. We to teach the children the way they should go. Amen. It says when they're old, they won't depart from it. It's going to grow in them. It's going to grow, and they're going to mature in it. They're going to study it, and they're going to yes. stay in what you have planted. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Father and Jesus teaches to forgive and forget. John 3 16. For God so loved the world, he sent Jesus. Jesus at the cross says, Father, forgive him. We need to learn this. Because he wants us to forgive. It's commanded, commanded us to do so. Yes. Matthew 6, uh, 14 and 15 says this. If you forgive men. When they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Yeah. But if you don't forgive their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. That's it. So you want your sins? <laughs> you want your sins forgiven? Oh, yeah. Forgive them. Amen. He wants us to forgive them also. Amen. So let's remember this. Matthew 18, 21 and 22 says this in the NIV. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times... Shall I forgive my brother when he sinned against me? Huh. Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seven. seventy-seven uh, seven times. Oh. Amen. So he was in the multiplication already. <laughs> God always multiplies back to you. Yeah. He just don't give you one for one. He blesses you with more than enough. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And he wants to bless you. 1 John 1 and 9. If you don't know this one, you need to mark this down. Yes. But 1 John 1 and 9 says this. Confess and God will forgive you of your sins. 1 John 1 and 9 King James says this. If we confess our sins, 
he God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness you know even as believers you don't have to go around calling yourself a sinner but you may still sin and if you do sin you go to the father and confess it to him he already knows <laughs> you ain't hiding it from him he knows but you go and you confess it Lord yes. I had to tell him so Lord I had to hurt him <laughs> Lord I had to hit him <laughs> Lord whatever you did confess it to him and get it out yes. get all cleansed out okay so you know as a tribunes we have a spirit we have a soul or we have a mind will and emotions and we live in a physical body and if you're not in the spirit if you're not prayed up and if you don't have your mind renewed your flesh is going to do some things you don't want it to do yep. your flesh is going to have its way <laughs> but if you've uh, fit your spirit man the word of god and you've renewed your mind with the word of god and put that away then when the flesh wants to react uh -huh. you say no yes god amen. says forgive him god says this and your flesh has to say but i don't want to <laughs> but you have to obey yes amen. so your flesh is is it says crucified <laughs> amen. amen come in come on now somebody amen. really needed that <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps your father's still alive. You know what? Thank God. Praise him anyway. In heaven, praise God anyway. Honor him. No excuses. It's a command from God. It's a fifth commandment. Yes. If he's alive, visit him. Call him. Write him. Text him. Email him. There are so many ways to stay in touch with him. No excuses. Amen. Mm -hmm. Maybe you made a mistake. You're still in prison, serving time or whatever. Still, this will stop you from reaching out to him. Share with him about Jesus. Yes. Share with him about your Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let him know that there's Bible studies going on in prison. Yes. Amen. He'll have his heart changed before he goes, before he leaves. Amen. Make sure he has a chance to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Amen. Love, accept, forgive, and honor Him. Fix any wrongs. Fix the past. Yes. No excuses. None. You have this choice to make. Yes. <laughs> Bible says we can do some things through all, Christ. All things. We can do all things, all things through Christ who strengthens us. Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. I need your help, Lord. <laughs> you better speak through me because my flesh wants to react a different way. <laughs> I know you're perfect. That's just pastor. <laughs> yeah, I want to lay hands on him, Lord. He said, open your hands and lay hands on him, not your fist. Yeah. <laughs> and then say nothing about your foot either. <laughs> Be nice now. So this morning, we want to take a look at one perfect father, our heavenly father. John 3.16 so talks about this. And it talks about our Heavenly Father for God so loved the world that he gave yes. his only begotten Son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so Heavenly Father we should honor him on a daily basis yes, have a relationship with him and just let him know Father thank you so much yes love you appreciate you Amen. be with me as I go out today yes. you know you know, he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Yes. If you don't feel, if you feel empty, huh. it's because you let yourself run empty. Right. Mm -hmm. Fill yourself up. Right. Yes. You got to stir yourself up. The world, people, families, they're going to run you dry. Huh. But you got to stir yourself up. You got to feed yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. And keep yourself up and up. Keep yourself um, uh charged up. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you might have a nice little car, but if you don't put, fill it up with gas, it ain't yeah. going anywhere. Yeah. We, as Christians, are called to go. But we got to stay filled up. Yes. Amen. Amen. We got to stay charged up. Yes. We got to stay connected yes. to yes. our source. Yeah. Amen. So, 
You know, don't let the Bible gather dust. Open it up. Read it. Get it in you. Charge yourself up. Now they have uh, electric stations where you charge your cars up. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't have an electric car, but still, we are to charge ourselves uh -huh. up Amen. with Him. Amen. And stay up and up all the time. Yes. Not once in a while. Not only on emergencies mm -hmm. or when you feel like it. Or maybe, hey, once a year, you know, I go to Christmas or I go to uh, Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Honor him. Give him thanks daily. Show him gratitude. Show him appreciation on a daily basis. Not just when you feel like it, you know. Let's, let's remember this. We got to feed ourselves. You know, I guarantee you, when you feel hungry, you're going to feed yourself. Yes. When your body is weak, when your body want some food or want some water stays thirsty you know you're going to feed it give yes. it some water same thing with our spirit man we got to feed it the right things amen feed it the word of god amen Ooh, come on amen god wants uh god gave us ten commandments not uh, uh suggestions that's it and yeah. you know he didn't, he didn't say for you to go argue with him about it uh -uh. But you don't understand. Yeah, he understands. He yes, says, I yes. thought all, he says, in this world you'll have tribulations. Uh -huh. oh, yes. I've been through this. He said, but I have overcome. Yes. What about you? <laughs> have you overcome? Huh. If you're not overcoming, you got to get filled with Jesus. <laughs> you got to get filled with the word and be an overcomer. Yes. Amen. Don't let the mountains uh, come on you. That's right. Amen. He says, he's God on a mountain. Mm -hmm. He's God in the valley wherever you happen to be up on high or down low yes. he says i'm still there yes. and i'm walking with you yes. we're walking on the sand we're walking on oh. deserts he says i'll open the red sea mm. right you know i built an ark <laughs> he made a way made for a each way. and every one yes. he's making a way for you yes. whatever you might be going through amen yes. he's made a way for you all you need to do is receive him Make room for him. Make time for him. Yes. Call relationship. Commit yourself. Yes. You know how Jesus came? He committed and submitted to his father. Yes, and he came. We need to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We need to commit and submit to him. Yes. And say, Lord, we're going to have a great day. Because I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this yes. day you've given me. And we're going to. We're, we're going to kick butt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be victorious. Yes. Amen. Lord. We're going to be victorious. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's made us to be winners, not yes. losers. He's made us to be warriors, not warriors. That's right. That sound right? Warriors. 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 <laughs> We're warriors, not warriors. <laughs> Amen. Some of us are real champions at worrying. <laughs> we don't need to worry. <laughs> Amen. We need to be warriors for yes. God. Amen. Amen. Man, we're going to be victorious. We're going to, we're winners. Amen. Lord, amen. <laughs> amen. You, you amen. need to hear that yourself. Yes. You call yourself. You yes. call yourself. We have uh, a little rack over there, a little stand, and it's got all kind of say so yes. what the Bible says about you. And you confess those things for yourself. Yes. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Uh -huh. Man, I can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens me. Quit letting the world, family, Friends, yeah. co-workers label you a different thing. Yes, Says, right. You're talking to the wrong person. Mm. I'm a child of God. I'm a yeah. can-do person. Yes. I can do all things through all Christ. Things. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Lord, somebody, somebody needed that. Yes. The fifth commandment Lord. teaches how to honor yes. and respect our fathers and mothers. Yeah. First commandment with the promise. One reason includes this command. It runs against our human nature. Yeah. As humans. We want to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> we want to do the opposite. Our tendency to fight authority. Yes. No. Disrespect no. happens no. a lot. Yes. We want to fight God's authority. Yes. We want to fight parents' authority. Yes. We want to fight all the authorities at work, at school, wherever you happen to be. We just yes. want to be against it. Yeah. There's a lot of <laughs> road rage out there. Oh yeah. Everybody, you know, we just say, man. This world is out of control. Well, 
are you praying? He says, if my people pray, mm -hmm. he said he's going to hear and change our land. Yes. So even if it's just you, you make a change. Yes. Get involved and says, Lord, we need you. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm praying. I'm believing yes, that this earth, this world is going to change for you. Mm -hmm. You are God of this nation. Amen. Regardless of what you hear, what what you see. Yes. Lord, you are God of this world. You're God of this nation, Lord. Mm -hmm. And we honor you. And we respect you. And we need you now. Yes. <laughs> we Lord, need you now. Yes. You know, <laughs> praise God. We fight authorities. We want to be free. Oh. Barabbas released instead of Jesus. Mm -hmm. How bad is that? You mm -hmm. think things are bad now? He said, well, well, you know, being pleasing people, who would I release? Jesus or Barabbas? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> release the murderer. Release mm -hmm. the prisoner. Mm -hmm. Jesus has committed no sin. Amen. He's committed no wrong. Amen. And that's what's going on nowadays, you know. Mm -hmm. We used to say, man, instead of saying things are good, he said, man, that's bad. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's good. <laughs> we want to do our own thing you know the prodigal son told his dad he says you know what dad I've been around long enough it's time for you to give me all this mind and I'm out of here Yeah. amen some of us have been here some of us are going through this some of us need to hear this because we rebelled <laughs> amen mm -hmm. and he came and he told his dad he says give me what's mine and he was mm -hmm. gone we had a good Bible study last Wednesday, mm -hmm. and this was part of it. But he was gone, you know. But then, guess what? <laughs> he had all kinds of friends when he had money. Oh yeah. But when the money's gone, the money friends are gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got to go find somebody, someone with <laughs> money, somebody that's got some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you ain't got it anymore. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Your yeah. friends is gone. gone. Amen. <laughs> but the prodigal son found himself in trouble and guess what yes, yes. So, I need father I need to go back to father's house you know yes. because in father's house even the servants eat better than this mm -hmm. Yes, you know he was eating with the pigs <laughs> so he came but you know what father was watching every day yes. for his son to come back your father God is waiting for some of you yes. that are watching some of you that are listening mm -hmm. he's waiting for you to come back Yes, amen he listen He's called to you. And he's anointed to you. Yes. And he gave you a mission. He gave you a yes. calling for you to yes, fulfill. And nobody can fulfill that except you. That's so right. when are you going to answer Father's call? Mm -hmm. When are you going to come back home? It's time to come back home. Yes, this yes. world has kicked you plenty enough. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's time for you to start, get up and, mm -hmm. and say, Father, I've sinned against you. I repent. I want to come and fulfill what yeah, you called me to do. Yes. And you know what? He won't turn you back. Yes. He'll just say, come. Yes. Thank you. And you, but you got to get up. And you got to do some. You got to do some actions for yes. yourself. Yes. Amen. We must be obedient. We must <laughs> commit and submit. <laughs> Amen. So some fathers have celebrated many Father's Days. Others, this might be your first one. Mm. Still, awesome. Congratulations to all Amen. fathers. Amen. Amen. How are we doing? Good. <laughs> Again, Father's Day, we focus on the good qualities, the teachings, the examples, yes. the talents, the abilities, the yes. good memories, yes. remembrance, the recollections, mm -hmm. forgetting past hurts, yeah. Yeah. fails, mistakes, imperfections. Nobody's perfect, but we need to do what's right. We need to do our part. Wherever you are, whether you're a biological father, mother, stepfather, or mother, an yeah. adopted father or mother, still, you're still a father or a mother. Be the best father or mother you can be. Yes. God has placed these children in your care. Take yes. ownership. Yeah. Children receive except your father and your mother. You know, you're listening. Yeah. Receive your mother and your and your and your father. Yeah. Why God has given you. Yeah. Joseph, listen to this. Joseph was a stepfather. He was a stepfather of Jesus, mm -hmm. and he received Jesus yes. as his own. Yes, yes. Amen. If you go to, well, I have a 
a reading here. Let me let me read this and then we're gonna close. Amen. 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 God chose Joseph to be the earthly father of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us in the Gospel of Matthew that God was a righteous man. Yeah. Excuse me. Joseph, Joseph was a righteous man. His actions towards Mary mm -hmm. reveal he was a kind and sensitive man. Mm -hmm. When Mary told Joseph she was pregnant, he had every right to feel disgrace. Yes. He knew the child was not his. And Mary's apparent unfaithfulness carried a grave social stigma. Mm -hmm. Joseph not only had the right to divorce uh, Mary, under Jewish laws, she could have he he could have her put to death yeah. by stoning. Yeah. Also, Joseph's initial reaction was to break the engagements, the appropriate thing for a righteous man to do. He treated Mary with extreme kindness. Yes. He did not want to cause her further shame. So he decided to act kindly. But God sent an angel to Joseph mm -hmm. to verify Mary's story yes. and reassure him that his marriage to her was God's will. Amen. Yes. He sent an angel. Yes. What she's telling you is the right thing. Mm -hmm. But Joseph was acting right anyway. Amen? Yes. Joseph willingly obeyed God yes, in spite of public humiliation mm -hmm. he would face. Perhaps a noble quality made him God's choice for the Messiah's earthly father. Amen? God knew. God chose him. God picked you. You're God's favorite child. See Amen. yourself that way. He picked you. He called you. He chose you. Yes. So why are you still struggling? You know, why haven't you just committed, submitted, and released yourself to Him? Yes. Says, Lord, here I am. Use me. The Bible says you can do all things through Him no. who strengthens you. I need your yes. strength. I know. I put every quality, I put everything in you for you to fulfill what I called you to do. I didn't leave you without. You've got everything to fulfill what I called you to do. Just remember that. Remember who's called you yes. and who's you are. Yes. When you get all these things in you and you spend time with Him and you reassure yourself by getting in His Word, you can't go wrong. But the enemy is going to use distractions. Since the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. And he's going to use your past. Yeah. But you say, wait a minute. I'm forgiven. Yeah. That's the past. I'm not giving no place to the past. That's it. It's, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I had a rebirth. Yeah, amen. <laughs> I've been born again. Yeah. I'm a new creature in Christ. That's what the word of God said. Amen. So don't let the enemy or anyone he uses to try to pull you back down. Yeah. You know, my family is always telling me, you ain't no preacher. I know you. I know who you are. And I know your past. You could never be a preacher. Enemy uses family. Enemy uses people. If you're in God, enemy's got you. Yeah. Amen. He says you can be hot, lukewarm, but don't be lukewarm. Don't, don't be Amen. He said, don't try to please men, God. You know, say, hey, be a God pleaser, not yeah. a man pleaser. Amen. And go around magnifying Him, not the problems and not the bad. Amen. Man, this is good. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know about you, but uh, you know, I've already blessed my socks off. <laughs> I'll read this before uh, before we go. Amen. Heavenly Father, the perfect Father, fathers be more like Him and put all hopes in Him. Be the best Father that you can be. He's the best Father. Imitate Him. Yes. Amen. And you can write this down. Ephesians 1. 
excuse me, Ephesians 5, verses 1 and 2. I'm going to give it to you in two different uh, translations. Okay. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. And then New King James says this, Therefore be imitators of God as your children. In verse 2, walk in love yes. as God also has loved us and given himself for us as an offering uh -huh. and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smell aroma. Yes. Now this, Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2 in the Amplified, it says for us to be imitators of God. Yeah. You know, I want you to stop saying this. I want you to stop saying this is the way I was born no, Jesus. and this is the way I am mm -hmm. and I'll never change. No, my oh, oh. Don't never, never say that. That's it. Okay? Because change is good. Yeah. Yes, Thank God is. we have diapers to change babies. <laughs> change is a good thing. Yes, <laughs> Sometimes our Heavenly Father wants to change these uh -huh. big babies of His. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> But listen to the Amplified. Right. Listen to the Amplified. It says, be imitators of yes. God. We can change. Don't. If the enemy's got you confessing those things, mm. don't. Stop saying those things. Yes. Confess the right things. Yes. I'll never change because this is the way God made me. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. This is the way you are. You're yes. not being controlled by God. You're being controlled by your flesh. Yes. Amen. You need to crucify right. your flesh. Mm -hmm. Feed your spirit, man, the yes. Word of God, and renew your mind with the Word of God. Your mind is your uh, mind, will, and emotions. Yes. Renew it. And this is what the Amplified says in verse 1. Mm -hmm. Therefore, become, become imitators of God. Yes. Copy Him and follow His examples. Uh -huh. That means we can change. Yes. yes. Amen. We should change. Yes. Remember Saint Corinthians yes. five seventeen. Yes. The old is out, the new is in. Yes. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. I had a rebirth. Yes. I'm born from the inside out. Amen. Amen. So, and walk. Verse two says, walk continually in love. That is value one another. Practice empathy, yes. empathy, and compassion. Unselfishly seek the best. For others. Uh -huh. Just as Christ also loved you. And gave himself up for you. Mm -hmm. Or for us. As offering and sacrifice to God. Slain for you. So that it became a sweet fragrance. Yes. Amen. So he gave himself up for us. But still. This is verse 1 where it says. Therefore become imitators of God. Copy him. You know. Hey we're good at copying uh, the world. We're good at copying things. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not a copy. Mm -hmm. You're an original made yes. by God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And we're to copy Him. Mm -hmm. we're, to be we're to be originals like He's called us to be. Amen. You know, a child always wants to copy his father. Mm -hmm. And be like his father. So fathers, be a good example. Mm -hmm. Be Christ-like. Yes. Be more like your heavenly father. So that your children see you and want to copy what you do. Mm -hmm. And do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. say the right things. Say, wow. I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's leave it at that. Amen. Yeah. For God so loved the world. Yes. In John 3.16. There God has a plan of uh, salvation. And it shows what he did for us. He gave his son so that we could be saved. And it shows us that. He expected us to uh, uh, do what whoever believes is. is whoever believes in Him will not perish. Yeah. We have a role to play in our salvation. Yeah. God expects us to believe in yes. Him. Amen. And do what He's called us to do. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. Mm -hmm. Help us to be doers of your word. Not just hearers, but doers yes. of your word, yes. Father. You. And we thank you that we walk by faith. And not by sight, Father God. And we thank you that we walk by faith and not by fear. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Help us to take this word, Lord, and grow from it, Lord. Mm -hmm. And be the winners, the champions that you've called us to be, Father yes. God. In Jesus' precious name. Yes. Thank God for 
a happy Father's Day. Amen. If you have never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, now's the time yeah. for you to say, you know, hey, I've been gone from Father too long. It's time to come back home. Yes. Amen. Amen. You are somebody. God made you to be somebody. So, you know, all you need to do is just say, Father, I've sinned against you. Yes. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to take you back and say, it's time to get busy for God. I've been so busy for the world. It's time to get busy for God. Amen. Commit, submit, and obey. Yes. Amen. So, praise God. You can do all this. Father, we just thank you, Father, for all those that are hurting right now, Father God, whatever that hurt may be, Lord. Sickness, you have a name, you'll bow to the name of Jesus. We cast out that spirit of infirmity, and we command you to go. These bodies are a temple in the Holy Spirit. So yes. we just thank you that by Jesus' stripes, they are healed from yes. the crown of the head to the soles of their feet, Father God. And we just thank you. Just touch that part of your body that needs to touch right now. Yes. Father, touch and bless them, Lord. Create whatever needs to be done father god yes. and we just thank you for it father in jesus name we rebuke the enemy mm -hmm. and every spirit of sickness coming yes. against the yes. lord in jesus name. jesus name and if you're so blessed it's a time to give <laughs> amen. amen so just uh those of you watching those of you listening it's time to give your tithe and offerings you can still do so all you do is yes. just go to our website nbcbigben.com Hit that donate button if you're mailing it to us. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Uh, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with us. And uh, a happy Father's Day to all fathers watching, listening. Amen. So praise God. Be blessed.